Right now, tornado season is about to be completely different this year. We'll have warm waters both in the southern and north Pacific Ocean, which will bring the tornado area completely different and for how it's expected to play out not only are we seeing El Nino during parts of the spring but we're also going to be moving to La Nina this summer and we will also be talking about that throughout the video so make sure to stay tuned but right now I'm the waters in the Pacific are warm right now, and um, what we do expect this year is El Nino down here to the south. As you can see, El Nino down here to the south is going to be a big concern for the season. And as the waters do start to get cooler, that means areas for tornadoes inc usually increase. But that's not exactly what we're going to be expecting this year. Ryan Hall did put out a tornado season forecast and if you guys want to watch that you guys can and I do agree with him on how this tornado season will play out but we're going to be starting off with what we usually see so if, usually for most years we'll see La Nina because La Nina usually lasts a lot more than El Nino which usually means La Nina is a lot more common than El Nino and when we see La Nina we also usually see warmer water up here to the north which brings an area of tornadoes down here in the places like the plains the deep south the midwest and maybe even into the western ohio valley but that's not what we're talking about this year we'll talk about it in a second but for this year we should have seen el nino down here to the south which we are seeing right now but we also so should have saw warmer than normal temperatures across um portions here of the pacific ocean pretty much up to the north but that's not what we're seeing this year and we should have saw that because that's usually what's typical with El Nino is we usually see cooler water up here to the south which makes it harder for those storms to get up to the north because a lot of that precipitation just wants to fall and all those storms will likely die off so that's why um, El Nino likely um, keeps the storm track down here to the south because all storms that develop here in the Pacific due to El Nino likely will stay down here to the south which brings an area of um, common tornadoes down here to the south but that's also not what we're going to see this year. What we're going to be seeing this year is warmer than normal normal water temperatures up here to the north and warmer than normal temperatures down here to the south guys we do not usually see warmer than normal water temperatures across this area and even up here to the north if we see el nino we would usually have cooler than normal water temperatures up here to the north but like i said this is not what we're seeing this year. This year we're seeing warmer than normal waters in both of these areas, which brings the tornado area to a completely different spot of the United States. And so this will definitely be something really interesting to find out as we do head into the spring. And if we look at our storm tracks, okay, because the one the storm track that has the number one on it, which is going to be the one farthest to the north is the track we expect there to be the most so we expect most of the storms to just kind of go like this um, and like I said, the tornado area will be up here in this area, so pretty much the mid to upper plains heading into portions here of the mid and upper portions of the Midwest, which brings the tornado area in this area right here. And as you see, that's why we expect this to be the number one track, but even the number two track could also be one of our biggest track for the season where it heads from Oregon and even back into parts of, let's say, the Ohio Valley and then even into um, the Mid-Atlantic. But that's not going to be our main concern. Still, our main concern will be number one tra track, but like I said, number two will also be another track that we do need to watch but even farther down here to the south um we will also have to watch this area closely too as well we're not really talking much in the way of tornadoes down here and i will show you guys that as we do look at the official forecast for tornado season but 
this is not the track we're going to be seeing this year, at least not very much compared to number one and two. We're only expecting maybe a few storms to use number three, but we expect most of the storms to just stay at number one and two. So we'll have to still see if that's really the case though, but we'll but we'll be watching very closely though. Now, for the official forecast, as you guys can see, like like I said, number three will not be our main track, and that's the reason why we expect less tornadoes here in portions of the Deep South. And that's what Ryan Hall wants to say too, is that we won't see as many tornadoes down here in the Deep South, which will give most of you guys a break. But that doesn't mean we'll see zero severe weather though. That just means we won't see as much severe weather as we would usually see. But if we head a little bit farther to the north, the chances for tornadoes increases a lot, especially because it's near the area that's going to see the most tornadoes this year. And so the area that just says tornadoes, we expect a ton of tornadoes to occur there. That's going to be our main area. But since we won't be expecting a whole lot of tornadoes, but still very close to that area, I think tornadoes will be likely for these two areas. So even though this area up here will be the biggest concern, I do still think we will see tornadoes south of that area, especially because, one, they are very close to that area, and um, I also do think number two storm track will also be used more, too, which actually does go through this area, too, as well. So we'll have to see if that's really the case, but like I said, I still think tornadoes will be likely for these areas in Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana, but even over here and through the rest of the plains, we can also expect tornadoes to occur there too as well so not only up here into places like the upper midwest but also down here into places like the plain so this will really be something that we do need to keep an eye on but this is the area that we do expect to see the least amount of tornadoes compared to the rest um, of the united states so we'll still have to see how things want to play out but like I've been saying, I do think these areas will still experience quite a bit of tornadoes, and that includes the areas that say tornado like tornadoes likely. So we'll have to see how it really plays out, but for the most part, we do expect tornadoes to occur up here. In this area, we'll likely see the most tornadoes. So we'll have to really watch very closely. We'll have to see how the storms choose to play out, but. Like I said, for the most part, we do expect tornadoes up here, and we could even be seeing some tornadoes down here south of this area. We just won't be seeing as much compared to this area, I don't think, but we'll, we'll still have to see. And like I said, I still think tornadoes will be very likely for these areas and even this area over here. So thank you guys very much, much for watching my tornado season forecast. Hope you guys do agree with me and Ryan Hall. If you haven't seen Ryan Hall tornado forecast yet, it's um, it will be down below in the description, and you guys can watch it if you want. But like I said, we do expect most tornadoes to occur in this area. At least that's what we um, are expecting for the spring. So we'll have to look look at that area very closely, but. Again, guys, thank you guys very much for watching, and we will continue to see how this tornado season will play out as we do head into March.